Space Movements, August the 27th, 2017. And we're dedicating these broadcasts to people down in uh, the Gulf Coast. You know, this, this is true. This is what major news should be reporting, but they're just reporting, talking to people. They should also be reporting this stuff. Alright, so this is E and E. This is Energy News. Alright, folks, this is official energy news. They talk about Fukushima. I mean, any kind of nuclear news, any kind of energy news, any kind of coal, this. Alright, so while everyone's looking at one disaster, there's there's more than one disaster. The, the dams can't hold the water. They failed, so they got to keep releasing water out these dams. And they're telling people that these dams are doing its job. But these dams are going to cause the floodwaters downstream, like in Houston, like in Bay City, to keep on rising. All right, so folks, here we go. So this is EN News. Nuclear w worker. A nuclear worker reported to the Toronto Star. And that's an official paper in Toronto. Um, Intamin flood coming near nuke plant from Hurricane Harvey. Potential catastrophic, running out of food, working tireless to manage problems, area turned upside down, nearby river Forecast to rise 50 feet and over top levees. Major flood stage. Alright. So we're going to read this on August 27, 2017. Be an engineer, Rayan Kondoka, I hope I said his name. I know I messed it up. I just slaughtered. Said his family safely left their home in southeastern Texas. But he was forced to return to Bay City area as part of a support team at a nuclear power plant. No matter what kind of disaster is going down, no matter even the nuclear power plant blew up or anywhere in the world, there's going to have to be people there to manage it, to make it safe so it don't go catastrophic. Nothing catastrophic has happened to this nuclear power plant yet. The workers are tired, all right? They ain't got that much food and the water's around them, as we're about to show you, is about to increase the 50 level. It's right past the stage at 727.5, and that's earlier today, as they keep on releasing waters from these dams. All right. So support team at the nuclear power plant. For three days, Kona, who is from Toronto, has been working tirelessly to manage one thing after another. Driving through water choke streets to bring supplies to engineers at the plant who are running out of food. Said houses in his neighborhood have been turned upside down and rising waters and nearby rivers threaten to send potential catastrophic flood into the area, into that nuclear area if it reaches. We're about to show you that. He said there is a minute flood coming to Bay City. We just don't know how much water we are going to see. All right, so they got the Wikipedia, the South Texas Nuclear Project, Electric Generation City is a nuclear power station southwest of Bay City, Texas, United States. All right, it's off on the Colorado River in Margant County. All right. Now, Bay City Trimming, uh, Friday, September 1, will be 15 to 25 pop. All right. As we go down. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, this is from last Thursday. This is Friday. All right. The yellow is the river. All right. So it's already past 27.5 feet. All right. The levees there could handle up to 20 feet of water. 23, action 23. Now it's major when it hits 46. It's purple. And it's predicted to go past that purple. What's wrong going past 40 feet of water? That's going to start going into near or into the nuclear power plant. Hopefully it doesn't happen. These people are tireless. And they got to work no matter what to keep the nuclear power plant going. That's one dangerous thing about a nuclear power plant. No matter national disaster, the whole city around it could be devastated. Ain't got no more food. Someone got to keep working these nuclear reactors. All right. I'm putting a warning out there. All right. I am putting a warning out there. All right. And all the way up till Friday. I'm going to put it till Saturday because it's still past. I'm putting warnings. I want everyone to keep their eyes out. Uh, if you live down in Texas, Louisiana, because Louisiana is right near Bay City too, about 20, 30 miles. Um, I want you guys to pay attention to this nuclear power plant. You got workers there that are tireless. 
that they're running out of food. Of course, these cities around it is underwater. And wherever they're going to get their food, that one store ain't going to have enough food for days and days and days. Because everyone in that surrounding area that is there is going to that store too or that other store. So the food supply is running low. So these guys are tired. They're about to run out of food. The water is already flooding. It's already at 27.5 feet as Sunday night past that now. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen. Keep an eye on this nuclear power plant. I said that's that should be like one of the people should be out there. <laughs> Donald Trump should be sending sandbags to this nuclear power plant, putting walls up, make sure this water do not go inside and cause electronic to shut down this nuclear power plant, or sending men to relieve these men working at this nuclear power plant. So you know, after 24, 48 hours of no sleep, hungry. Come on, folks. This is the No Face Moon. Please stay on this video. And please keep an eye out on Bay City and the nuclear power plant. The south, uh, what is it called? Do do do. South, the South Texas Nuclear Project. This is the movement, movement, movement. Until next time, facing off.